Welcome back, Zero K fans. This is Shadow Fury 33 with another exhibition match. This time, we're going to be seeing a brief series of matches between God and Saktoth. Some games that Saktoth specifically asked to have cast because they are apparently pretty interesting games. So we'll start out on Red Comet. Actually, all the games are going to be on Red Comet, so get used to this map. You're going to become very familiar with it within the next couple of games. So God starting out with Hovercraft Start while Light Vehicles is Sackdoth's choice. This map being very, very flat. Entirely flat. There's, okay, a few hills here and there. But basically, it's completely flat. Means both of these starts are quite good. Hovercraft Start, however, is one of God's deadliest weapons. Because he gets four or five Scrubbers, they can pretty much one-shot anything. Or two-shot in the case of Factories. He is, however, moving the Scrubbers out individually. Not moving them as a group, as a large like, four or five unit group. Probably will be trying to keep them out of trouble, though, in the meantime. And a, a Dart and a Scorcher coming out for Sackdoth. Not scouting out with him, though. I'm a bit surprised. He, you'd think he'd normally be sending the Dart out to scout. He might be trying to go for a small raiding group himself. There we go. The Dart is going out to scout out. Now, of course, both players have the entire west side for God and the entire east side for Sackdoth to start, so neither player is entirely sure where their opponents have started. But both players have started near the three metal extraction points, and typically, as a rule, you can assume your opponent's going to start near the the most concentrated clump of metal extractors. On this map, you can sort of start here, but it's kind of tricky seeing as you do have these choke points, which do help, but they also restrict how far you can get out of your base. It's a bit of a toss-up, but most players tend to go for the three metal extractors in a line at the southwest and northeast. And both players are... Well, keeping their commanders... Actually, no. God getting an energy cell for... Just that much more energy economy. And he is getting his Scrubber in. The Scorchers are taking it out, however, not able to deal any damage. With, or no, the Scrubber is able to deal a bit of damage, but not nearly enough. I think it might be able to take care of... Nope, not even taking out one of the Wind Generators. It's not even able to get away, getting taken care of by the Scorchers. However, God, now he's getting that group I mentioned before. Three or four, well, like four or five more, but he has one of them coming in from the southeast again. And Sackdoth, not really prepared. He does have a Scorcher over to the northeast. He's... Well, had other Scorchers. And... Oh, there they are. His Scorchers are going towards the southwest, and they are going directly to attack, while the Scrubber coming in again. So Sackdoth, not defending against this, and actually not aware of what's going on. No radar for... Or no, he does have radar for him, so he should be aware of what's going on. He's actually fully aware of what's going on. The Scrubber coming in, taking care of the Metal Extractor, taking care of the Wind Generators. Oh, Sackdoth is losing his economy very quickly. And God, on the other hand, he does have some radar coverage. He is aware of the Scorchers coming in just now, push it, putting the Scrubbers in to deal with them, but this Scorcher is what he's primarily focused on. Neither player really focused too much on these Scrubbers over here. It was the combat over in the top of the map, the top right corner of Sackdoth's base, getting rid of quite a bit of Sackdoth's economy. So God has double the energy and about three, has four thirds the metal energy, or metal income. And he's just pushing out and expanding from there while Sackdoth bit in the back foot. He does have a unit advantage, though. At least in terms of type. These, scor these Scrubbers need to be in really, really careful positions to get through these Scorchers right now. That should, they probably should retreat. God might be able to take it out. No, not really. Able to one-shot one of them, but losing the rest of the Scrubbers before anything else really happens. And that Scorcher was damaged, too. Another set of Scrubbers coming to the north, and more Scrubbers being produced. A Dart able to spot some of the Scrubbers coming in, and... No? Well, that's about it. He's always got some scrubbers. He has another quill coming up to help expand a bit. But the scalpel is almost what I expect he'd be transitioning to. Granted, like I said, God, God's scrubbers are frightening. They can be very frightening. It's actually a little bit surprising he hasn't used them in the most frightening way yet, but that may be just to come. He has six or seven now. He could... Positioned right, one shot each of these units, but it kind of has to be individually or with them nicely lined up. But we'll see what happens. They are coming through a choke point, and the Scrubbers are in position, taking out one of them with ease. The rest of them, however, are having to move back. The Scorchers are getting surrounded nicely and are taking are being taken out as well. There we go. God, Scrubbers are showing their magic. Nice maneuvering around with that, however, still losing quite a few of them. They will win this fight. That's the scary part, is the amount of one-shot you can get off that. And the Dart not able to return home to tell the tale. That being said, thanks to 
high-speed radio transmissions, or whatever sort of subspace ansible that is used in this game, Sackdoth is fully aware of what happened, despite the lack of scouts returning with news from the front. <laughs> and Sackdoth is very much aware of what's going on, noting that it was unexpected, and, well, no, you're playing God. I mean, it's not entirely unexpected. You're playing God, he's going over grass, he's gonna do scrubbers, and lots of them. That's just what he does. He's also doing quite a bit of expansion as well, having nearly doubled Sackdoth's economy in terms of power, and definitely with his rating he will, Sackdoth able to deal with it a bit by reclaim and a bit by levelers. Definitely powerful units there to have, but also not quite fast enough to keep up with the scrubbers. However, they do have a fast enough cannon to get to stop them, at the very least, and high enough alpha to mash them somewhat. But even then, 85 metal versus 240. He's got to kill three scrubbers for every leveler just to make them make cost. And given that he's behind an economy, like I said, by nearly a factor of two, that's saying a lot. He actually needs to kill six in order just to keep even on unit advantage. And... Okay, apparently the quill went off on its own. That's a little bit bizarre, but that shouldn't really stop things. God is very much taking this game. Losing one of the scrubbers, however, leveler... That's one. He needs two more. Actually, he needs five more because of the overall economic disadvantage, or nine more at this point. Sactos down by a factor of three now, and the Scrubbers look like they're just set to finish this off. One laser turret in the way, and also this hill, actually. One laser turret and a hill in the way, and this Ravager as well. The Ravager actually is probably the biggest threat that they have, but even then, they can dodge it fairly well if attended to, and God is attending to them. He does have them all selected. He is moving them around, and he is doing a very nice job harassing, taking out the metal, taking out the energy, but Soon to be taken out by this leveler. That's two. Actually, I think that's three. Although, that's a different leveler, actually. This is the leveler that's taken out three, in fact. So that leveler has made cost, and the other leveler is just about to. There we go. Or, well, okay, not quite. But pretty much. And God continue to reclaim. Now at this point, he's got a fourfold advantage on Sackdoth for economy. Sackdoth trying to even the playing field a bit, building some extractors. Morphing his commander, probably just energy cell beam laser, but still, that gets him a bit of an energy advantage. Mind you, it's not an energy advantage that translates to overdrive, which, while, well, okay, it's variously risky. It means that his commander is where his energy is more focused, but at the same time, it does mean that map rating isn't the as big of a deal. No, I don't know. The overdrive is pretty big. Still, that is what Sackdoth's going for, and these scrubbers are dealing a fair amount of damage to the Ravagers. More scrubbers coming in. God just focused heavily on the scrubbers, getting caretakers to build more scrubbers, using his 40 metal just to pump out scrubbers. One scrubber every f two seconds. Yep, that's basically it. Look at the ETA. 1.4 seconds as, as it starts. That's about two seconds total. And that's, as we can see, getting rid of a couple Ravagers as well. That's what scrubbers can do. They, they one-shot. They one-shot well. They're scary at one-shots. And... God is very adept at using that, as we have seen. And, like I said, though, the levelers do start to match them up, but the Ravagers do not. The Ravagers... The advantage, however, is the fact that Ravagers are much better at short range. So the Scrubbers need to stay at range. They need to be fighting, not moving, and they are all on move orders. Actually, quite a lot of them from the looks of it. Yes! A massive army of them right now. Like I said, one every two seconds adds up very quickly. Within a minute, you have 30. And that's about what God had. No, he has 20 at this point, but he was losing some. He's getting more, though, very quickly. 21 now. 21 scrubbers. And we saw what we could do with 6. Admittedly, it won't scale linearly because the amount of control required does become harder. But still, that's a lot of rating potential. Sackdoth, he did a beam laser energy cell, but his commander very quickly getting harassed. Not really what's going down, though. What's going down is the rest of the economy. And God just about has a five-fold advantage on metal production. He does now, definitely. There goes the commander, getting rid of that energy cell, getting rid of that metal income as well. Sackdoth is... He's not got much going for him. These scrubbers are pretty much taking this game. Because that's what scrubbers do. Enough of them, and they are very hard to deal with without air or... or mass damage. I mean, Kodachi's, if he had heavy tank factory, might have done the trick. But even then, now you have to deal with Heavy Tank Factory, which is a tricky beast. It's a tricky beast in its own. Very fun to play as, but it's a tricky beast to play as because you pretty much only get one unit in the early game. Like a single unit. 
And that was the game. So I hope you enjoyed that. There'll be another one shortly in this series, so stay tuned. Hmm.